Hello friends, in this video we will learn the impacts of quota on an economy. Like the previous video, we learn the impact through a diagrammatic representation. I urge you guys to see the previous video to get the most out of this video. So let's look at this diagram. On the x-axis, we have plotted quantities and on the y-axis, we have plotted prices. Just like the previous lecture, we have a downward sloping demand curve and an upward sloping supply curve, both showcasing the domestic demand and supply for the commodities. PF is the international demand curve, which is flat, indicating perfect competition. The demand curve showcases us that the quantities demanded domestically would be OQ. Out of the total quantity demanded OQ2 will be supplied domestically as the international demand curve interacts with the domestic supply curve at the point E and Q2Q will be imported from abroad. Now, let's say the government allows free trade only till quantity Q, after which it would not allow for import of the product. Hence, a restriction will be imposed on the imports. Such restrictions is what we call as a quota. We can clearly see that the unavailability of goods that is, earlier the domestic demand was up to Q, however, irrespective of the higher demand, as quantity is restricted, this leads to an excess demand and this excess demand would give an upward push to the prices. The new prices will be P1. At P1, we can clearly see a decrease in consumer surplus. This is exactly identical to what we did in the previous video when we learned the impacts of tariff. The decrease in consumer surplus, that is the rectangle P, P1, F1, F, is created in the economy. This pushes us back to the same question. Is there any way in which the lost consumer surplus is absorbed in the economy? Here again, the triangle a, E, B will showcase the protective effect. The area P1, P, A, E will showcase their redistributive effect. The triangle F1, C, F will showcase the consumption effect. This is something we already did in the previous video. However, in the previous video, the rectangle a, B, C, F1 was the revenue effect to the government because at that time the government was charging a tariff. However, here there is a quota. Hence, the government isn't getting any revenue. So, how is this loss of consumer surplus being absorbed and who is the one who benefits out of it? There are three possible answers to it. The first one is that as the quota is imposed, the importers of the following products can now sell the same product at higher prices. Hence, the entire revenue might go to these importers. However, there is a second alternative as well. If the government is allowing quota through licensing system, then the importers might have to share a certain amount of revenue with the government. Hence, both the government as well as the importers might share the revenues. And last but not the least, it can also be that the foreign exporters are able to have information about the domestic market. If that is the case, then they would increase their prices and export the product. This way, it would be the foreign exporters 
who would be able to sell this at increased prices and get the revenue. As one can see, having a quota instead of increasing tariffs can lead to volatile outcomes. Hence, generally, the governments across the world do not like to impose quotas. To summarize, the quota, similar to tariffs, will impact the domestic suppliers, the importers, and the government with increased revenues. It would lead to a decreased consumption in the economy and also finally leave us with the deadweight losses similar to tariffs. That's it from this video. See you in the next one.